<laughs> Welcome back everybody to a short video and today it's about tada, something Manchu-esque and it's about the new Manchu quiver from Ole Craft from Abdur Rahman. Look at this pretty one. He sent it to me. It's uh, customs got, had the nose in there so I had to fold the cloth and this is a lumpen. Yes, they have to stay in. You roll them and this keeps the arrows tight while we get to this in a second. So he sent them to me and he wrote that this is a contemporary art. So it's not like, okay, we, we make some kind of Manchu quiver. This was his first version. This is really the, the dimensions and everything from finding. So I can link you to Mandarin Mansion. He had once one with all the description. This is really... A, really a match for this. All the accessories are brass, even the the belt. There's a belt, yes, there is a, there is a belt. Even the brass buckle is, the belt buckle is brass. The bottom here is a wood, like it was supposed to be with this angle there, and it's covered with thin skin. Everything here, the sti stitchings and the decoration, everything is made by hand, so it's not some some laser whatever engraving machine which will do this. It's all made by hand and it's the one with this secondary pocket here. And what I like is when you get the belt, you see that the belt has always here this small opening and here. And that means you can really attach your quiver onto the belt like the old version had to. You know, we had here these same principle. We had here these, these openings and then you could attach the belt there so the, the quiver is not running around. It stays in place really nicely. And second, I got my pocket quiver, but I will do a video about this later. So these are now the differences. This is the one Abdurrahman sent me way earlier. We had here these uh, leather lines going on both sides to keep the quiver in shape. This we don't have here, but we have way more cloth. And now we first set it up, obviously. So that means this one goes here in the first. And of course, then you can adjust the height with this small belt buckle here to your liking and to your needs. I just put it now somewhere in the middle. And then we see how it hangs. So like this, you put the buckle to the loop. Uh, the, buckle, the belt so and then you get the rear strap it's really nice made really nice made Abdurrahman, i'm so proud of you so this one here goes through here i oh, <laughs> did this one wrong i need to do it again so here we keep this one a little longer maybe I don't know yet. We will see when it's done. And I don't wear my silly head today. Again, of course, the dress is from Caesar. I forgot the name again. I forgot. I write it. His company name. I forgot again. So of course we don't put the loop on top. Ah, yeah, here, man. Yeah, it's a long day. I got up at four o'clock today because I had to pick up my starter set. So it was a little. Excuses, I know, but yeah, good in this. So, that's why it's always good first to check how everything is hanging. This comes up like this. Then we put this through here. And then we buckle up. <laughs> so, Cathay Armor. Man, it's really me and names. The dress is from Cathay Armory from Caesar. So now look, this is now the belt, uh, the, the quiver is not going anywhere. And today I even, I forgot last time to show, with the new Manchu dress you get even this nice belt. So you could theoretically hook now your quiver into these metal latches there. But that's too much for me today, so the, please don't. Okay, but you can, and it's nice. So. Now, let's hang the quiver. See, easy peasy. Belt is long enough. 
the Turkish quiver I have with the belt, Abdurrahman, the belt is just on the first hole because I got a little fat. So that's all. And then, of course, you have here somewhere this adjustable thing you can tie it up. Nice, look at this. And sits really tight without the leg strap here. Really tight. So now let's see how we can fill it up. I would say. Oh, it fell down. That's why it's not here anymore. So you need to be careful that you don't lose your, you know, this is this thing for here, but I lost it. I have three special arrows. And I put the three special arrows in this rear pocket because I can. And look at this. Like so. Check. So. And then let's see how many arrows we can fit here. I don't know. Let's start somewhere. One. Three. The first row, skid row, and now we have the second row. So, another arrows are from Alibaba. They're really nice, really nice. So you could fit most probably even more in there. It's a very stiff cloth in there, so it's really nice. Oh, now it gets heavy. Most probably you didn't even see anything. So, so nice. So this is now an original. It's like the original quiver. Let's say you come here. Look at this. How they always oh, this is heavy. How they always spread apart here. Really cool, huh? And no problem at all. What is missing? <laughs> oh, and the, the half cylindrical thumb ring. And now what is missing? Shooting. Feeling good. Let's see. Easy to grab. So with this leaf, I'm not sure yet, but I'm not a manchu either. So. <laughs> so manchu. Do the manchu stands huh? so like this a bit higher. Oh, <laughs> nice. So you don't have to think, you simply go back there and grab the next arrow. So easy peasy. And feels good, huh? Holy moly. <laughs> so you get the point, I guess. Yes. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Slippery today. <laughs> nice. This bow. So soon I get to my special arrows. There's nothing special there, just not printed. Oh, I didn't do my warm up again. Yes, and I will do a, a video about my warm up routine, which I don't have yet, but we'll get there. Holy moly, look at this. This quiver is really nice. It works just nice. And what I forgot to mention is the price. Yeah, so still going 12 arrows plus three to five in the back. Nice. So now we get to the special arrows. <laughs> awesome. Don't want to break my arrows now. Ah, 
in Machu Picchu. So, Abdurrahman, Blackcraft. This is an awesome piece. What can I say? Fits nicely with the belt. Doesn't go anywhere. It really goes nowhere. So this is really tight. And it doesn't wiggle around even with the arrows in it. You feel it then from the weight because they're especially heavy arrows, but there's a mount you have heavy arrows. Really nice. And the price of this beauty, I need to show you now again. He told me the price including shipping, so you don't have to worry what the shipping costs will be. It's 270 US dollars. And you get this pretty quiver with brass fittings and everything here hand embossed or how do you call it and even hand stitched so no machinery nothing with a nice wood bottom with this nice cloth in it and this cloth is really first of all it's getting out i wonder how the customs made that that they got them out all right it's a very thick you see this it's, it's very thick and very sturdy it's two layers so it's really sturdy and holds the arrows really oops but you need to make it nice back. Holds the arrows really nice in place, nice and sturdy. And even in the small one, so there's no problem. Or in this thing, it's just the only thing you need to care is the small thingy here to put the, you know, should be here. You need to put it here somewhere and then you can put the end of the belt under this small loop, but I just throw it on the floor. 270 US dollars, this pretty quiver in a nice color so this color match with brown and if almost black here and it's it's really looks really really good so thank you very much abdul rahman and here you have then all craft so these are really artists and it's quite thick leather when you see it here it's sturdy but not too stiff so it's still flexible and gives you this nice feel this organic feel besides the bottom party obviously Nice, really nice. So, Abdurrahman, thank you very much for sending this quiver to me. It's really nice. I really like this one. And yeah, it doesn't match another color. It's perfect. Nice. Thank you very much. Ring works fine from Alibo. The half size, the half cylinder, I forgot the name now. The half cylindrical ring. But you check on the website. I did a review. Bow works fine. Alibo, obviously. <laughs> in the pattern thing. And the dress works fine. I only didn't wear my silly hat today because this, yeah. but the rest, what is missing now are some pockets that I could put my, my microphone and my, for my filming, all the stuff in here and then I can go somewhere. I always need to carry it extra. Or some small, didn't the Manchus have some small bag here? Some utility bag or something on this nice belt? To hang on my belt that I have something where I can put my phone, you know, then I will take this like this on the 3D parkour. And then you see some nice footage, but then I need a small nice matching bag with it. Then I can run around, boom, shoot and fly. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.